my rifle. There are many like it, but this one is mine. My rifle is my best friend. It is my life. I must master it as I must master my life. So one of the things that we wanted to do with the Jing Video Playback was really take a holistic approach. We wanted this sucker to look, feel, and smell like Jing. So regardless of where they see this Jing video content, they instantly recognize it as being a part of Jing. Jing is absolutely brilliant at creating quick and dirty screencasts. What it doesn't have is a lot of the more powerful tools that allow you to enhance and build your story. So we set out to assist you with the digital storytelling. We've added sort of cinematic effects is what I like to think of them. At the end, you'll get a nice fade to black. This tells users in a very familiar way that they've reached the end of the screencast. Uh, at the beginning, there's a, a click to play or start button, and there's these effects that are applied to it. We do this little scan line artistic effect, and then there's a gradient spotlight effect that overlays the thumbnails and emphasizes and highlights the play button. These are things that really sort of complete the circle for you, a sort of nice wrapper that puts a nice bow on everything for you. When you start using Jing, you'll notice that we no longer have a video control bar underneath the video. It's an overlay controller. It's only present when your mouse is hovering over the video. Uh, this helps resolve some of those uh, tricky problems like you've always got to add 18 pixels to your video's height when you embed it in a web page. For instance, I typically want to record in something like 640 by 360. I know that I can choose those record dimensions and those are the same dimensions I'm going to have in my web page. One of the biggest goals with Jing was to make embedding video foolproof. It's been far too easy to screw up your videos by changing your dimensions in the past. So what we've done is come up with an intelligent scaling algorithm that actually letter boxes, pillar boxes, and window boxes your content regardless of what the embed code dimensions are. So you can start to think of the embed code and the flash video player as sort of a magic TV that gets to be any size you say the TV is. And no matter what, we're going to display your Jing content within that TV appropriately whether it's scaling it to letterbox, pillar box, or window box. One of the final hurdles with recording and embedding Jing content is you typically often want to uh, record at much larger dimensions than you have available when you go to embed the content. So we're kind of uh, between a rock and a hard place. I know when I go to embed in my blog, I, man, I always want to show something that's larger than that space that I've got. So what we've done is when your recording dimensions actually exceed your embed dimensions, when you go into full screen mode, instead of scaling the video and making it all nasty, we actually scale it up to just one-to-one -one pixel clarity. So you get absolutely perfect crystal clear video in full screen mode. Eddie! Good night, ladies. <laughs>